So welcome back to second round action at the Leaning China Masters. We're in Shenzhen, a Bay Gymnasium. And one more match to come today on our centre court. And it's another men's doubles. It is the former world champions, Aaron Chia and Soe Ik of Malaysia. Up against the pair that won last week in Kumamoto, Herji Ting and Ren Xian Wu. This is from the top half of the draw, and the former world number ones and number one seeds, Ranky Reddy and Shetty, they've come through, and so have uh, Canando and Martin. Canando and Martin beating the very much informed Danes, Astrup and Rasmussen in three games. So the two matches in the other section of this top half of the draw are both Malaysia, China, encounters but we're focusing on the first of those Aaron Cha and So Yik um, against Herji Ting and Ren Xian Wu. Led out by the Malaysians won the world title last year in Tokyo and they obviously like playing in Tokyo because it was in Tokyo that they won an Olympic bronze medal as well. Well, this will be only a second meeting between these two pairs. The first time they met was in the quarterfinal of the recent Denmark Open. And the Malaysians went on to win the tournament. So, of course, they won that quarterfinal encounter. But it was three games, as you can see, 21-12 in the deciding game. So, the Chinese pair won the toss and chose to serve. Aaron Chia, huge amount of strapping on his right shoulder, forearm and his left knee. But this is Ren Xian Wu. Played well last week. Winning the Kumamoto Masters is only their fifth tournament together. Quite extraordinary. Aaron Chia is 26 years of age from the ancient city of Malacca, and they're enjoying their 20th week in total at their career high of number two. Playing their first China Masters, though so they did play the Fuzhou China Open. Semi-finalists, in fact, they were at the last Fujo China Open. It's back in 2019. So Wei is the younger of the two at 25, born in the Malaysian capital of Kuala Lumpur. Four finals this year from 19 tournaments, and they won their first ever World Tour title at the recent Denmark Open. Big teammates on Yu Sin and Tian Yu have been in the semi-final of the Kumamoto Masters last week beat them in just 33 minutes. So to the Chinese pair, this is Herji Ting, who's 25 years of age from Xiaowu in Fujian province. And they went up a staggering 24 places after winning last week in Kumamoto to a career high of 50 as a pair. But was as high as 10 with Tang Xiang with whom he won a World Championship silver medal back in 2021 in Huelva in Spain. Ren Sianyu is also 25 years of age, but he only turned 25 last month from Luchuo in southeast Sichuan province. So they beat their two former partners in the first round, Tang Xiang and Zhao Haodong. <laughs> And like their opponents, they won in two straight games. So our umpire, David Graf von Schweren from Austria, 
service judge Manfred Shum from Hong Kong, Ladies China. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Ke Ting and Yuan Xiangyu, China. And on my left, Aaron Chia and So Wei, Malaysia. Yuan Xiangyu to serve to So Wei, Lobo. Play. So the Chinese pair, the far end of the court, we got on the way by Oren Xian. It's just wide. Oh, it's challenging on the very first point. That's a little rash, isn't it? Remaining. One love. And I can't believe the very first point of the match is going to affect the outcome of the game. Two love. Maybe it's an indication of how either worried the Malaysians are about this or how far the, fired up they are about this. Second round encounter. been a blistering start, hasn't it, for He Ji Ting and Ren Xian Wu. <laughs> to say last week has given them confidence, I think is a little bit of an understatement. But they've consistently got better and better. Since they formed their partnership, they lost in the second round of the Arctic oh. Open in Finland. Seven, one. And then quarter-final of the Denmark Open, semi-final of the French. They did lose in the quarter-final of Saarbrück in the But after four consecutive weeks in Europe, and not altogether surprised. Oh. And then one in Kumamoto. One. That's a very, very good progression for a brand new partnership and I can hardly believe the scoreline 8-1 attack by the Chinese pair. Yeah, look at the way they're communicating. 
supporting and encouraging each other. And a stamp of frustration from Wen Xianyi. into the match now, the former world champions. Serve is over. Six, ten. of the last eight points so they really are playing themselves back into this match in this opening game oh they both went forward and both went back total muddle on the Malaysian side of the net seven interval and the upshot of that is that He Jiting and Ren Xian Wu have a four point advantage at the mid game interval. The one that skips out. Caught one, 20 seconds. Caught one, 20 seconds. Tan Bin Chen, amazing coach. Tidy up the kit boxes. 11, 7. Play. Oh. The momentum is actually with the Malaysians at the moment. Might be trailing. Nine, with them. Good tumble serve. Yeah, that's a good intersection from Herdy Ting. It's a 
double hit. Uh, it was good defence, getting it over the head of Sawi. points in it, which is a very good comeback by the Malaysians, considering they were seven points adrift at 1-9 down. Well, that's a good return from her G T. Service over. 14-11. It may have gone long with that back line. But Wren played it. front of the court. What a wonderful 15. disguise from Aaron Chia. And there's just one point in it. a big point and all four players could sense it the Malaysians are back level oh, the court needing to be mocked of the perspiration that was certainly one of the longer rallies of the match so far Oh, that's a 
look at Smith. Runs over. 16. Seems to climb up a ladder there, her GT. Slice on that, causing the problems for Aaron Sharp. Oh, brilliant defence from her G team. That is absolutely wonderful. Opened up a little cushion once more. Look at that. Championship silver medalist from two years ago. Right. Just long. Service over. Sixteen. Eighteen. Judgment. I think so could have played that. 16. And the Chinese pair just two points away from the opening game. Service on cold. Service on cold. Too high. Service over. 17, 19. Mm, difficult to tell. Attacking sharp towards the right hip of Ren Xiaoyu. So, just one point in it again. That's well off. And two game point opportunities for her GT and Ren Xiaoyu. Their nerve, and it's 20 all. And extra points required until there's a clear two point winning margin. <laughs> a 
breaking record on the return of serve from her team. And it's a third game point opportunity for the Chinese combination. Game point is well saved. Good courage by the Malaysians. He did well to make contact with that. Twenty-one all. Opportunity for Her Ji Ting and Ren Xianu. <laughs> and a fourth game point is well saved. Twenty two. of the attack directed at Ren Xianu. Fifth opportunity. 23, 22. Fast and furious rally, and after saving five game points, now the Malaysians have a game point opportunity themselves. continues. 24 all. They've earned themselves a sixth game point opportunity. Herji Ting and Ren Xianu. Surely. Time. 
happened now? What an unbelievable five, opening five. game. Well, he's in one eight down, got that level. Survived six game points. And here we are locked at 25 all. Bad indecision, lost him dear. Springs have gone, I think, in Herji Ting's racket. Yes, off he goes. He's back on court. Oh, my goodness, it's all happening here. Brilliant! What a fabulous rally! 26-25. He looks at his racket, runs off. Grabs a new one. And they end up winning the rally. Well, of course, if we got to 29 or it would be sudden death. Just one to 30. Why we would end this drama, I don't know. I'd like to see it all played on until there is a clear two-point winning margin, regardless of the scoreline. The drive serve. And no call from the service judge, Aaron Chart. Indicates to the umpire. That's difficult, difficult to see from here. So, finally, on their seventh game point opportunity, Herju Ting and Ren Xian convert. 27 25 in 27 minutes. Court one, 20 seconds. Court one, 20 seconds. Second game. Level. Oh, what a thrilling open game that turned out to be. 27-25 in the end in favour of Herju Ting and Ren Xian. No! One luck. Right there, they had a seven-point advantage at the beginning of the open game. They led 8-1. And if they hadn't converted on their seventh game point opportunity, I think psychologically that would have been very, very tough to take.
one, two. Two, three. All Chinese pairs have won seven of the previous 13 men's doubles titles at the China Masters. The last was eight years ago. Service over. Three, all. Li Jun and Li Yu Chen taking the title in Changzhou. since they had that game point opportunity at 24-23 in the opening game. And that was the first time in the opening no! game they had been in the lead. So it's over. Five. All. I think he hit his partner. Seven, six. Yeah, so he just indicates that he's okay. But immediate concern from Aaron Char about his partner. Rally. Seven. Oh. Yes. 
Kalau dia cross sikit, dia cross dia balik, balik straight mah. Kalau straight dia balik straight cepat sangat. Tak tak. Cross sikit. Ha? Ha? Play. It's going to go long. That's a good placement Nine, from Salt. Turn of serve. Oh, that's a lovely exchange at the front of the court. Ten, nine. to decide who has the advantage at the mid-game interval. Oh. And the answer is Her Ji Ting and Ren Xian Wu. for the front court player. So far, 11, 10, second round men's doubles. Play. Serve is over. 11, all. There, Aaron Sharp. Oh, so 
Ball's over. Twelve. All. Right. We only had a two-point difference. That's three one in this opening game since then it's been point for point. Where was the attack directed? Once again on the Ren Xianu. From Aaron Shah, totally deceived. And Xianu, I think that he's beginning to show signs of fatigue. This man. Two point advantage. Looking shot as well from his partner, Her Ji Ting. First time we've had a three point difference in this second game. We had a four point difference. 16, 12. Time the drive serve from Aaron Shaw. 17, Chiang. 12. Oh. Oh. Service hold called too high. Yeah. Service oh. over. 13, oh. 17. Oh. Oh. Oh, yes. 14, 17. Went in the wrong direction. Go! Service over. 18, 14. Very much looking like we will be treated to a third and deciding game. There, now there's confusion between the two Chinese players. Yeah, lovely. Two points away from the second game. Strings of his racket. 20, game point 14. Yeah, strings are broken. He was expecting his partner to know that that had happened and to go for the next shot. So, six game point opportunities to level this second round match at one game apiece. Well, 
have the Malaysians just taking their foot off the pedal. Relaxed a little too much, thinking that this second game was virtually decided. You can never assume that in sport. Four game points have come and gone, and only another two remain for the Malaysians. seat. Finally, on their fifth game point opportunity, the number Second three seeds Aaron Chia and Sui take one game the off. second game, 21-18. And as the umpire has confirmed, it is one game all. And we will indeed be treated to a third and a second game. the players back on court for the start of this third and deciding game. Final Match game. Full of drama. Love all. Play. Yeah, that's good attack from Her G Ting. And she had one love.
make the block and follow forward from Aaron Sharp. What a drop shot. That's beautiful. He's got lovely touch. There's this man. Behind the back. Yeah, oh, that one bounced. Wonderful behind the back shot from Aaron Sharp. Here it comes. I'm not even watching it. It's amazing. Great spatial awareness. Yeah, they put each other off. That's going for it. Furious. It's absolutely spectacular for us to watch, but I do think that just changing the pace a little bit, taking a bit of pace out of the shot from either pair would have its advantages. Thank you. Just the backhand smash from Ren Xianu. Excellent rally. Well, it hit the body of Perji Ting. Yeah, the umpire hasn't seen this. It touched the body. Six, five. I thought the challenge and it didn't make any sense. Okay, the umpire has agreed with them. But it did indeed touch the body. Perji Ting, I think it was.
Yeah, lots of discussion. There was none of that in the early stages. They were just so confident in the way they're playing. Now, a sign of anxiety. Oh, they're having to discuss at length what tactics to use. That's a super shot. Thumbs over. That really is wonderful. Six. Oh. Serve. Eight, six. Sorry, sorry. Oh. Oh. Nice. Yeah, turn the whole rally around Thumbs with over. that little block across Seven. court. Once I challenges, the in. final shots of the rally, not the one that set it all up and changed the momentum. Yeah, there's actually a challenge here from the Chinese pair. close here we go oh, that's so far in I don't know what on earth the challenge was about that's an extraordinary challenge one challenge remaining serves over seven eight Jay. When they challenged, I was thinking to myself, are they saying it was wide or long? I was bemused by it. Serves over. Nine, set. Out. Serves over. Eight, nine. Obviously, lots of tension on court. That's a nice shot. Ow! 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 So is that. A couple of defences from Aaron Sharp. He'd broken the strings of his racket. Over. Couldn't control the final Ten. block. Eight. Exactly one hour this match has been in progress. Well, we're still none the wiser as to who's going to get through to the quarterfinal stage. Could go either way.
Yeah, Seven that's over. really well Nine. played by Sol Week. Leaping to his forehand side to take that shuttle early, keep it going in a downward direction. And extremely well. The counter attack Ten, from Aaron four. Sharp when he drove the shuttle back flat over the net, he then moved forward. Exactly the right thing to do. So 10 all. Well, this rally to decide who has the advantage with the change of ends. Well taken by Soe on the interception there. And it is the former world champions, Alan Char and Soe who have the one point advantage. That's a great interception, isn't it? So Pencho Stoinoff, the tournament referee, comes on and indeed there is uh, medical assistance needed for, I believe, Aaron Sharp. Some sort of cold spray. Hmm. And shoulder. Return to court. So 11-10 in the deciding game. like that on the return of serve. Brilliant. What a rally. This is fabulous. rally of the match. I think it's probably the best rally of the match too. And still it goes on. Ah, 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 
And that's gone long of the back line. A marathon rally. The dive from So Yeek at the beginning of the rally kept them the Malaysians in the hunt. That was the dive. That's 79 shots. And final smash from Herji Ting. Two flats and going long of the back line. Get ready. No drinking. trying to serve out wide, 13, Aaron Cha, 12. towards the forehand of Herji Ting. Herji Ting read it and played a backhand return of serve, which is quite extraordinary. Serve is over. Yeah, the timing goes 13, when you're all. a little fatigued. The timing on that shot from Ho Ji Ting was way off. It by quite a margin. 15, 13. Well, they had a two-point advantage earlier on in this deciding game. Did the Chinese pair both at 7-9 and at 10-8? Well, they've opened up a two-point cushion again. time in this deciding game there has been three points in it Gap. Serve is over. 14, 16. Of course, I've just given you tough information. Wasn't it 5 2 at one stage in the early stages of this deciding game? I think it was. It was a three point advantage for the Chinese pair. Closer to the goal line. Just four points needed for Herji Ting and Ren Chian. Mm. Make that three points needed.
Yeah, good return of serve. Perhaps Serve's wasn't the over. best of serves. 15, 18. Challenge hit from the Malaysians. Orange are challenges called in. Oh, the fans chanting in. And this is crucial. And it was out. out. Good challenge by the Malaysians. 16, 18, play. Oh, oh. Fabulous. That is terrific play from Shen Xianu. Two tantalizing points away from the quarterfinal. And perhaps more importantly, a victory over the former world champions, Aaron Char and So Wee Eek. Over. That took courage, that 17, final kill, 19. to make sure he didn't reach over the net and didn't touch the net with his backhand kill. He did well. Changes got the better of Aaron Chia. And it is three match point opportunities for Herji Ting and Ren Xianu. Claimed by Herji Ting and Ren Xian Yu. Backing up and following on from their first World Tour title last week in Kumamoto. But they did it in a gruelling match. An hour and 14 minutes. That thrilling, thrilling opening game. This is the final rally. They thought that was going to go long. The Malaysians, it landed in. And look at the delight for Herji Ting and Ren Xian Wu. What a match. So, through to the quarter final, this new pairing from China and their success from tournament to tournament continues. Uh, coming through 27, 25, 18, 21, 21, 17 in the deciding game in an hour and 14 minutes.
What a thriller. Well, that concludes second round action for today. Quarterfinals tomorrow is two sessions across two different courts. The first session is 10 a.m. local time. That's 0200 GMT. I'll be back for the second session of the day. That's 5 p.m. local time, 0900 GMT. Until the quarterfinals tomorrow, from all of us here, and especially from me, Jill Clark, bye for now. <laughs>